Project Olympus, icon to build 3D printed structures on the moon. You know that space has always been interesting to people and aroused the imagination of possible life there. That's why many science fiction movies were made and books were written. And then a miracle happened. People started to get to know space, sending rockets up there empty of people. Many scientific discoveries have been made, research is taking place non-stop, and people have managed to land on the neighboring planet Mars, but also the moon. Going there and back is expensive, and carrying equipment is even more expensive. Astronauts want to build stations on the moon or other planets to ensure their stay there and devote themselves to research. Architecture firm Bjark Ingels Group BIG, construction startup Icon, and design firm Search Plus have unveiled a project that might provide one more small step for man in this endeavor. The research initiative, called Project Olympus, will investigate and develop a method to 3D print structures on the moon using what is effectively lunar dust as its primary material. If successful, this project could pave the way for a permanent habitat on the moon. The design team hopes its research will advance construction technology terrestrially too, particularly in being able to rapidly deploy inexpensive and well-designed housing. There will be more to say about this great project. Just make sure you do one click and press subscribe button. It would mean a lot to us. Thank you. The ICON contract is part of NASA's Artemis program, which is intended to return astronauts to the moon by 2024, including the first woman. If you tried to plan a lunar settlement or a moon base, and you had to bring everything with you every time you wanted to build a new thing, it's like another $100 million. But once you have got a system that can build almost anything, such as landing pads, roadways, or habitats, and it uses local material, you're probably two or three orders of magnitude cheaper to build a permanent lunar presence than you would be in any other way that we can think of. And what particularly favors developers is the construction price, which according to some estimates should be around $57.2 million. So what do you think? How will that 3D printing look like on the moon? Icon engineers plan to study lunar regolith to determine how it might behave when used as a building material. Icon's regolith-based building process would look something like this. They'd put down an initial layer of moon dust and rocks in the shape of whatever they're trying to build, for example, a lunar habitat. Then use a purpose-built laser to melt the regolith so that it would be permanently stuck together. Once the first layer solidified, they'd add another. It's not so different from the way their 3D printers work on Earth. That 3D printer on the moon is called Olympus, and it looks something like a giant mechanical spider with a crane attached. It would land on the moon via a commercial lander and drive itself to the building site to start processing regolith for construction. So finally, to repeat the team's goal, to facilitate lunar construction that is sustainable, achievable, and beautiful, where science and architecture work in tandem. In the months ahead, ICON will work with NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama, to test how simulated moon material might behave amid a battery of tests, lasers, microwaves, and heat, before investigating how it performs under varying degrees of pressure and temperatures. This will allow the team to develop conviction about the appropriate approach from an engineering perspective. The architects, in turn, will use this information to tweak their designs. We are sure that ICON will succeed in its intention and that it will build an entire settlement on the moon. Believe it or not, they already have experience in construction, but on the ground. For now, at least. Known for its advanced 3D printing technology for home building, ICON began its journey to transform construction with the delivery of the first permitted 3D printed home in the U.S. in 2018. Since then, the team has delivered communities of 3D printed homes in the U.S. and Mexico and barracks for women and men who serve in the U.S. Army and Air Force and the Texas Military Department. ICON's proprietary Vulcan technology produces resilient, energy-efficient homes faster than conventional construction methods with less waste and more design freedom. Whether it's a house on Earth or a house on the Moon, you'll agree that it's fascinating what can be built with the help of a 3D printer. Remember when these presses could only make a few small things, but now a whole house? Impressive, right? What do you say? Tell us your thoughts and critiques. Write it in the comment section below. Don't forget to turn on the notification and share the video. If you enjoyed the video, press like. Thank you for watching the video. See you again soon.